Hi everyone, welcome back to Honest Mechanic Colorado. Today we're exploring this critical but often overlooked component of your car's engine. The PCV or positive crankcase ventilation valve might be small, but it plays a big role in your engine. It helps manage the release of harmful gases and maintains the correct air fuel mixture, thereby reducing emissions and improving engine efficiency. Understanding why PCV valves fail is crucial for preventing costly repairs and maintaining your engine's health. Now let's delve into the main causes of PCV valve failure. Firstly, we have the failed O-ring. This small yet critical component seals the valve to the engine manifold vacuum hose. If it fails, it can lead to leaks and malfunction of the PCV valve. Imagine it as the gatekeeper, ensuring all harmful gases are routed correctly. When the gatekeeper isn't working, we have a problem. Next, we come to stuck PCV valves. Now, these can be a real nuisance. The PCV valves can become stuck in either the closed or open position. When stuck in the closed position due to clogs from contaminants, you may experience engine surges and oil leaks. On the other hand, when the valve is stuck open due to aging and wear, you might face vacuum leaks, engine misfiring, and increased oil consumption. You see, it's like a door that either won't open or won't close, causing all sorts of chaos inside your engine. Then there's the issue of dirt and debris accumulation. Over time, PCV valves can become clogged with oil sludge, dirt, and other contaminants. This is a gradual process and more common in older or high mileage vehicles. It's like a sink getting clogged over time, which reduces the flow and affects the overall performance. Oil contamination is another common culprit. If engine oil isn't changed regularly, it can become dirty and contaminate the PCV valve. This leads to a decrease in its efficiency and eventual failure. Think of it as trying to run a marathon with a heavy backpack. It's going to slow you down and eventually you might just give up. Lastly, let's talk about engine wear and tear. As engines age, they produce more blow-by gases, which increases the workload on the PCV system, potentially leading to failure. It's like asking an old horse to do the work of a young stallion. Eventually, it's going to be too much. As we can see, several factors can lead to the failure of the PCV valve, most of which are preventable with regular maintenance. Preventing PCV valve failure is easier than you might think. Yes, indeed, it's all about regular maintenance, folks. You see, the PCV valve is like the unsung hero of your engine. It's small and unassuming, but it shoulders a big responsibility. So, how do you keep this vital component in top shape? Well, cleaning and inspection are your best friends. Make sure to check the valve for signs of wear and tear, dirt accumulation, or oil contamination regularly. This will allow you to catch any potential issues early and address them before they cause a major headache. And here's a pro tip. Always replace the O-ring when you replace the PCV valve. This small piece of rubber plays a crucial role in keeping the valve sealed and functioning properly. Remember, it's not just about preventing valve failure. Regular maintenance also helps your engine run smoother and last longer. And who doesn't want that? Remember, a well-maintained PCV valve not only ensures smooth engine operation, but also prolongs the life of your car. So there you have it, an in-depth look at why PCV valves fail. We've covered everything from the role of the O-ring to the dangers of stuck valves, the accumulation of dirt and debris, the harm of oil contamination, and the impact of engine wear and tear. It's clear that a well-maintained PCV valve is key to a healthy engine. Don't forget to subscribe to Honest Mechanic for more insights into car maintenance and repair. Keep your engine running smoothly and your car on the road longer. Thanks for watching.